All right, let's get rid of the trash. Yep, that's what Teddy's saying right now. What the? Yeah, all right, everybody, we are here today taking a look at a little upcoming banger by the name of Terror at Oak Heart. Now, this is brought to us from the same developer behind Suffer the Night, which you might recall we covered a demo of that a while back. Now, the game is fully out at this point. I never really followed up on it, but uh, I found the demo to be quite promising. This one is more along my speed, though, because we're going back to that old school pixel art style, which I'm a sucker for. It has a side-scrolling type of gameplay as well. It's kind of like a side-scrolling adventure game, so it's kind of very fitting that recently there's been like a, you know, uh, announcement of uh, them redoing or remaking, remastering, whatever the hell they're doing nowadays, um, with Clock Tower, which, at least to me, Clock Tower for the Super Nintendo was one of the first horror games I remember playing in that pixel side-scrolling adventure type of art style. And, you know, since then, there's been obviously many releases with that sort of, uh, gameplay style. Think of something like the Lakeview games as well. Lakeview Cabin and whatnot. So, that's what this game reminds me of, except here it seems to be you're playing the role of the serial killer at times, too. Wake up, Teddy. Wake up. It's time to get up. Teddy, the mask is calling for you. Done it once more. Yes, I will. I will serve. Come to the basement, Teddy. I will be waiting. You heard the voice in our head. We must serve. Uh, okay. Blue candle was added to the inventory. Very dark, but as you can see already, the pixel art style. I I'm a sucker for this, so you know, this is actually really good. I'd like to see it more lit up, obviously, to really get a good grasp of it here, but obviously we're like at a deranged dude's house. Clown serial killer, so yeah, I'd imagine you probably would kind of keep it dark and not so well lit. Which is basically the same thing. Dark and not well lit? Yeah. Congratulations, Falcon. Your vocabulary is quite verbose. We are always quite intrigued to see what comes out of you next. Uh, let's see, we have a rifle up there. Great. Our method of killing, apparently, though, is not a rifle, which would make it very easier for me to kill people, I imagine. But um, I think we're unlikely to use like a knife or something. Gotta complicate things as a serial killer. Why do you still struggle? Your destiny won't be denied, and these boards won't keep you from me. You are mine, Teddy. Yes, I am sorry, Master. I will... serve. Retrieve your cell and destroy these planks. So it does seem that, um, Teddy here has indeed made a bit of an effort to try to maybe stop himself from doing this. Okay. So I guess is the reason why we get to play as him too, because there might be more than just meets the eye to this game. What the hell is this? I don't have the right candle. Oh, uh, I, I think we have a blue candle though. Okay, cool. So we need a red one, a purple one, and a green one. I've oh, got a red candle now, great. I can't run, at least not as Teddy. Oh, that's a face. Oh, that's a skin face. Arms and a leg. A feast of flesh must be offered. Why do you... Oh, you know what? It's because I keep hitting F afterwards. Okay, I should just move away. It's like, why does he keep double speaking all the time? Um, so we gotta do this in a proper order or something, huh? What about you? Okay, that's set up. No, okay. Let's try, let's try arm, arm. I said, let's try arm, arm. Leg. And face. Oh, stay perfect. We got him, we got him.
Anything off to the side, by the way? No. Yeah, to make sure. Green candle. Oh, in purple. Okay, so I think we have all the candles now. No saw yet, but I... Yeah, got with a hunch. You know, just got with a hunch, I imagine. Our saw will be back here. How does the locking mechanism work to this thing, by the way, you know? You light candles and the lock just suddenly auto-unlocks. <laughs> Putting too much thought into it, I guess, so. Alright, we have our saw now, great. Apparently it was also an axe here, a shovel, and a chainsaw. But the full game, we better be able to use more than just the saw. Pretty cool animation suit for the pixel art. So far I'm digging this, like the look, visually. Ah, there's the mask. Do you hear it, Teddy? The mask yearns for you. Yes, I hear it. Calling to me. Put the mask on, Teddy. Embrace its power. You will be rewarded. Good, very good. Now come closer. I wish to see you, Teddy. It to me, Teddy. Yeah. Serial killer slash carry on crossover we always wanted. Although the flesh is exquisite, it cannot sustain me, Teddy. Go out there and find some new victims. Bring me some fresh meat. I will serve. Alright. Well, the inner demons apparently won out again. Chapter 1 Teddy the Terrorizer. I'm curious if we're going to be uh, switching characters now. Well, tonight appears to be entirely devoted to reruns. <laughs> I know, honey, but this is one of my favorite shows. It's been a long day, so I'm going to go take a shower upstairs before going to bed. Breaking news Teddy has struck again. The partial remains of two adult individuals were found earlier tonight, keeping the residents of Volcard on edge and in constant fear. Police have released a press statement saying that they have no new leads in the search for Teddy warned that he tends to target couples and families. A curfew has been implemented. Residents are advised to stay indoors at night and make sure all windows and doors are locked. Contact the Elkhart Police Department at once if you have any information about Teddy's location or notice any suspicious behavior. God, that just sends shivers up and down my spine. They need to stop that monster before he hurts anyone else. Well, don't worry about it, babe. Nobody dressed as a clown is going to hurt you as long as I'm around. I don't think Tyler's long for this world. Just remember to do the dishes when you're done watching your show. You forgot to do it earlier. Okay, so we're playing now as Ashley. A reliable metal flashlight can be used in an emergency. So I'm pretty sure uh, at least we know where to come once the lights go off, right? But for now, let's go, I guess, upstairs. I don't need to go. Okay, I, I know. I, I thought I needed to press F to go. I, I got it. I got it. I don't need to press to go up the stairs. What is this? Can't interact with whatever that is just yet. Maybe we can use it like the chuck it at Teddy when he's chasing us. Might be able to hide there. Tell you, okay, a gun case. But we need a key. Okay. You know what? I'm glad that I'm getting all this information beforehand, you know? We know where a flashlight is at now, we know where the gun case is going to be at now, but now we also know we got to look for a key before we even go for the gun case. Okay, here we are. Uh huh. Classic old psycho scene. Oh, I'm shocked that the police haven't found that maniac yet. In any case, I should check my gun case upstairs and make sure my hangers in working order. Um, am I going to go do the dishes first, or...? No, check the gun case, alright. Dishes. Ah, you know, that's Ashley's job, not mine. It's the 80s after all, baby. Okay. Let's see here. Everything looks good here. I'll, have to, I'll keep the key on me just in case. I better get downstairs and do those dishes or Ashley's gonna kill me. So... 
I guess now we know that whenever this dude dies, <laughs> we're gonna have to find his body to get the key. Alright. Again, this is all good information I'll probably have once I'm running around as Ashley here. Because, you know, the cliche thing here is to obviously kill off this dude. Then you gotta have the classic heroine versus the serial killer trope. Oh, that's strange. Could have sworn this window was closed. Oh, he's inside. How many dishes do you have for two people? All right, all done. I should grab the trash down in the basement and take it out. Hmm. Never mind. He's in the basement. I'm. In, I'm no longer in control. It's over for this dude. All right, let's get rid of the trash. Yep, that's what Teddy's saying right now. What the? Oh! Oh, yo, dog! You kidding me right now? This dude did him in like he's Jason Voorhees. I guess that's a very good way to take the power out, to be honest. Let's 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 let's, let's call it spade a spade here. That's very creative. The power just go out? Tyler, the power's out. Tyler? Crap, where are you, Tyler? Okay, why is she fully dressed? You just popped out of the shower. It's so dark, I need to grab the flashlight in the downstairs closet. See, they could have easily done this, like have her come out. And like, you know, give her like a full, complete, like mosaic pixelated thing. And then, like, have, like, the clothes, like, say, like, I don't know, maybe on the toilet or something, you know? Folded somewhere, and then you dress up as her. But she pops out already fully clothes. I mean, come on. I want my immersion, goddammit. It's not even about Booba. Um, okay, we know that the flashlight is in this room here. Oh, God, it's so freaking dark. Find Tyler. <laughs> I think I know exactly where Tyler is. Or maybe, probably his body got moved for all I know. Hopefully, by the way, you guys aren't gonna get screen tearing on the video, because I'm getting some pretty major screen tearing, but there was no V-Sync option for this game that I noticed. What the hell's going on? Where are you, Tyler? Oh my god! Tyler said his, his, his eyeball even popped out. Tyler, oh my god! Oh, there's the dude. I have to call the police. Ay. Call the police on the phone upstairs? I'd rather just go go to downstairs and, and get the key from the the body. Oh, that was the phone. <laughs> this is the longest wait ever. Oh god, police department, what's your emergency? Please, you have to get to my house. Teddy's here and he just murdered my boyfriend. Ma'am, please remain calm. I need you to tell me where you live. 1428 West Haven Street. Uh, you have to get here quickly. I don't know where he is. Listen to me very carefully. What do you mean, listening to me very carefully? I think you mean, listen to me very carefully. Find somewhere safe to hide and if you can arm... If you can't arm yourself, help us on the way. Oh, oh he's right behind me. He's right behind me. I can't run, right? No, I can't run. Okay, let, let, let's see. Could I hide here? We can, okay. Okay, you can't, you can't pop out when you want to. It seems you gotta wait for this to happen. Because I was trying to pop out when it was, I mean, at least I don't think I can. No. I was trying to pop out when he was on the way to the right so I can just book it and go to the basement that way. At least I'm ahead of him that way, but no. Tyler's gun case is right there, but I don't have the key to it. Yeah, I know, I know. I gotta go get it. Yes, I know. You have to find the key on the rest of his corpse. Gotcha. The only concern is if he pops up between here... Just ahead. If he pops up between me and the guns... The, the case upstairs, and I'm in trouble. Oh god, I'm so sorry, Tyler. I'm so sorry I made you do those dishes. I got the key, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, at this point, if he shows up right now between now and this, the gun case, I don't know where to go and hide. There is no running and there's nowhere else to hide that I'm aware of. Unless there was a room to hide in the where I got the flashlight, but I don't remember that. 
What about just leaving out the front door? I mean, shouldn't that be an option? Okay, we made it. All right, you bastard, come and get me. Let, let's not let's not poke the bear, can you know? Oh, she lit him up. Well, looks like power's working again. Did you confirm the body? Is it Teddy? Is he really dead? Oh, it's him, all right. Jeez, I can't believe that young women took him. That young women took him down? <laughs> it was just one. What a mess. Yeah, Sarah took it down to the station to get a full account of what happened here. At least Olcott will sleep a little easier knowing that this maniac's finally dead. Nah, dog, this is like Halloween. He's gonna wake his ass back up. Chapter 1 completed. Wouldn't be surprised if this is the end of the demo, too. Or? They might give us a scare for the end of the demo. One year later, Olcott Cemetery. I have to wage. Oh, that's Ted. He's gonna pop his arm out, isn't he? It's like, um, Friday the 13th, three or four? There it is. Oh, now he's a straight up ghoul. This is like full Jason Voorhees form now. We have done a terrible thing by him killing this dude as a human. Yeah, I forgot what Friday the 13th movie it is where he gets basically, like, you know, electrified into, like, you know, uh, being revived this way. End of the demo. There it is. It's actually pretty good, though. I'm very much intrigued by this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Terror at Old Card. Let me know what you think about this one. Maybe when full game is out, we'll come back and take a little spin at it then. I'll catch you guys next time.